Hey guys, it's Nixie coming at you with my review of Ubuntu's new release, Lucid Links 10.04. As you may know, I'm an Ubuntu girl, I can't hide that, but I am going to try to remain as unbiased as possible for the sake of newbies transitioning over from another operating system. <clears throat> we all know which one that is. So, I'm going to use five categories which I'm going to grade 10.04 on. I truly mean this when I say installing Ubuntu is definitely easier than installing Windows. You don't have to have a key, none of that noise. It runs on a bootable live CD, so if you want, you can go ahead and try the distribution right away without worrying about installing it. Run it right off the CD. There's about five questions to answer if you do decide to install it, and it makes it super easy for you to measure out you know, your partitions if you decide that you want to keep the Windows operating system as well as Ubuntu. People usually like to reflect a desktop that is as unique as their personality, so as always, Ubuntu is really great in the appearance department, whether it be backgrounds or compass, which is a more advanced Windows effect that you can enable, to fonts and to having uh, themes, and uh, they actually came out with a new release for a theme which is a little less brown than the previous releases, so a lot of people were pleased with that. Not to mention that you have access to downloadable content, user created, login windows, splash screens, you name it, is, uh, as broad as your imagination. Yes, I said the me menu holds a lot of promise. However, it does need a lot of improvement. You can put a cool icon with your face or your grandma or whatever you want in there. When you have your status updates in that blank space there, you don't know how many characters you post, so that 140 character limit with Twitter, you're kind of left in the dark. So, uh, Also, if you have more than one Twitter or more than one Facebook, you can't really manage that either if you don't want to post to one or the other. So it does need to be refined a little bit there. Being native to Windows myself, I was looking for something with a similar directory structure so I wouldn't be searching for my files being completely unaware. Now, Ubuntu, as always, provides us with this. The Our home file is whatever we've named ourselves, and then it goes to documents and pictures and video, all that jazz, and it's right there, it's very intuitive, and you won't have any problem seamlessly switching from Windows to Ubuntu in that respect. There's just so many good things to say about the Software Center. It's a mecca of all the applications you'll need to get started. You have all open source programs available right at your fingertips, and you can learn about them with a the click of a button. You can find out, we'll use Audacity as an example, you can find out screenshots to see if it would be something you'd be interested in installing and then you can just install it right away. Most all of the software is completely free and as far as operating systems are concerned there's just a huge support for programs behind Ubuntu. If you've never used a program that manages multiple IM accounts you will love Empathy. Personally, I've been spoiled on Pigeon. That's my baby. I'm going to stick to that. But Empathy is great for just being able to do your run-of-the-mill chat. Um, it also logs conversations for you, so you don't have to worry about what you said to Sheila that one time. You can go back to that. Um, and you can talk on IM, AOL, ICQ, all that stuff, all in one. With an ever-increasing number of us microblogging and jumping on the social networking bandwagon, it's no wonder that Quibber has been boasted front and center with Lucid Link's release. Here you can post to your wall on Facebook, check out photos on Flickr, look at stories on Dig, all simultaneously, as well as using the meme menu like we talked about to make status updates. Having worked with Sony Vegas and After Effects, I kind of have the bar set a little high when it comes to video editing. So Pativi is really great for the new user. It kind of compares to the Windows Movie Maker side of things. You can just take a one 
specific video file and then another file and kind of merge them together but don't expect to do any elaborate transitions or any effects with this they just don't have the support right now as you can see all the requests for for uh, transitions and things like that and they're just not they're not really getting there yet but it, it's definitely good like I said for a newbie starting out so this is FSpot. It's the default image manipulation program. Personally, I'm bummed out that they decided to replace GIMP, but I understand it's a super intensive program, which this is not. It, this is if you want to import a bunch of files and make very simple edits to them. So it's definitely mainstream and good for the purpose. I swear by OpenOffice. I'm not going to go too in-depth with this one. I'll just say Microsoft Office open source. Need I say more? This is definitely really cool. It reminds me of back in the day with Napster having the thousands and hundreds of thousands of files just coming up at you. Um, it, that's virtually what it is except all these files are available for download. None of them are illegal. Uh, you know, sorry about that if that's what you're into. You definitely have to download and pay for things like Lady Gaga, um, you know, Incubus, Metallica, whatever is clever for you. Um, but this is really neat if you just want to kind of have some tunes going while you're browsing the web and whatnot. Welcome to Ubuntu One. This is the cloud storage that they boasted. You get two gigabytes free storage right off the bat. Just go ahead and make your Ubuntu ID and you can store your files in the cloud and get it from any computer based on your login. The cool thing about it is you have contacts, you can share notes, all that stuff. And if you go ahead and pay $10 a month, they bump that limit up to 50 gigabytes. Oh, bonus, if you decide to go to the paid version of Ubuntu One, they allow smartphone sync. So all that stuff you have in the cloud that you wish you could put on your phone, you now can, your smartphone, your PDA. Um, so that's definitely a good feature to have. Oh, and I almost forgot the icing on the cake. There are other versions of Ubuntu 10.04, including Ubuntu Studio, which is good if you're a composer, whether that be on the video or audio side of things, and Mythbuntu, good for home entertainment purposes, as well as a server edition that's supported for not three, but five years, and a netbook edition, which isn't a long-term support, but it's still really lightweight and something that you would really like. Speaking of liking things, I hope you dug my first review on Ubuntu Lucid Links 10.04. I'm going to come out with more reviews on distributions as well as comparisons and application reviews and tutorials. So check back soon. Until then, I will talk to you later. Bye.